So, as we know, exam season is fast approaching and that can cause a lot of stress and anxiety um, for pupils all around the world. Uh, so we thought what we would do is we would create a little video with loads of helpful tips uh, to hopefully help reduce some of that anxiety and stress. Tip number one, get organised. Yes, it's really important that you have the right equipment for all of your exams. This includes lots of pens and pencils and a calculator for the right exams. If you don't have a clear pencil case, you can use plastic wallets or sandwich bags. Great tip. Also, make sure you've got your exam timetable printed out in plenty of time so you know exactly where you need to be, whether your exams are morning or afternoon. Because uh, if you wake up and you're feeling flustered, it's going to set you off on the wrong foot straight away. So make sure you know exactly where you need to be and when. Yeah, and also a revision timetable will really help you out. Just knowing what you're going to be studying each evening will help you to stay focused and also ensure that you cover all of your subjects. Tip number two, create a tidy study space. Yeah, first things first, clean up. I know for me personally, and I know for you as well, I can't work in an area that's cluttered um, with loads of rubbish around me because I just can't focus on what I need to do. So stick your rubber gloves on, get clean, and make sure your workspace is nice and tidy so you can stay uh, at maximum focus and get as much work done as you possibly can. And I'm sure your parents will appreciate it too. Yeah, take out the bins. Tip number three, avoid social media. We know that social media can be a great distraction from everything that you're supposed to be doing, but actually it'll be worth it in the long run. If you're struggling to put it down, then download some apps such as Headspace, Calm, they'll help you to feel more relaxed before bedtime. Tip number four, eat well, exercise and stay hydrated. Yeah. I know it's really easy when you're feeling super stressed to just go for the, the worst kind of food that you can possibly get. So try and stay away from fatty foods, processed foods and refined sugars because they can actually um, heighten your anxiety. The best ones to stick to are kind of your berries, um, avocados, asparagus, whole grains, all of those different kind of foods. They contain lots of vitamin C and loads of minerals which can actually help boost you. Um, one of the ones that you might not have thought of is actually dark chocolate. So if it's only 70%, this can actually have a really relaxing effect on your body. Stay hydrated. Everybody knows if you've not drank enough water, you can get an awful headache, you can feel really tired and lethargic. So make sure you're drinking enough. You can actually download some really good free apps which can help track your water intake so you know that you're drinking enough. Also take in a clear bottle into your exams. This will help you to stay focused. Yeah. Tip number five, scents. You might not know it, but scents can actually have a really big effect on your mood. Yeah, some of the best are uh, lavender, rosemary, cut grass, citrus and orange smell. They can have a really good calming and um, relaxing effect on your mood. Um, stay away from bad smells, so take out the bins, clean your room. <laughs> um, you can buy lots of different things like sprays or candles, and you can put those on just before you go to bed to help you wake up feeling more refreshed. Tip number six, look after you. Yeah, we all know um, during exam season you might feel like you're running out of time and you want to spend all the hours under the sun in your room revising, but actually it's so much better for you to go out and do something for you to relax your brain so you can come back feeling more focused. So um, here are just a few things that we think would be really helpful. One of them uh, is actually bubble wraps. There's definitely studies out there which suggest um, that popping bubble wrap can actually have a calming effect on you. We also have different types of books that we use with our students to help you with practicing mindfulness. If you don't want to get one of these books, there's lots of good things online and lots of different apps you can download. Yeah, spend time with your friends, go for a walk, go to the cinema, get a coffee, uh, anything that you can do outside of that revision space just to calm yourself um, and help you feel better about the exam season. Tip number seven, get enough sleep. Yeah, your brain repairs overnight, so it's so important to get as much sleep as you can. Um, so you wake up feeling refreshed and ready to take on a new day. Yeah, we suggest about six hours sleep, but preferably around eight. Yeah, uh, and get yourself in a good bedtime routine. So don't sit, like, sit in your bedroom scrolling through social media accounts, listen to an audio, read a book, do something positive so you can go to sleep and wake up in the best possible mindset you can take on the day. Finally, tip number eight, set yourself some goals. Yeah, it's really important to help you stay motivated throughout the exam season. Setting yourself lots of little goals will help remind you why you're working so hard. So that's all our tips. We hope that you found them really helpful. 
So something that we've done here at Lincoln UTC, uh, we've created an exam stress support booklet which all of our year 11s have. Uh, they can work their way through it, it's full of all of these different tips that we've spoken about, different activities that they can try, mindfulness activities to help relieve some of that stress. Um, so if you'd like to download your own, then you can do from our website. So stay focused, remember what this is all for, and best of luck. Bye! Thanks for watching!